Oh, hey guys, Ted Mac here. I just got done training my new guy. Very, very excited. And my girl, she's down here and she's working and working. Like, what are you doing? She goes, I want that new house, baby. And I'm like, okay. She goes, you told me two months we'll have the money to buy it. And I'm like, well, yeah. I said, but, you know. <laughs> so she's down there. She's helping me work and stuff. She wants that big house. And I said, okay. So I go, I haven't even made the bed. I haven't even sold my house yet. I said, we're going to sell my house. I have a guy that wants me to carry him. Nice down payment. So, um. And she wants that big house. She really wants it bad because you know it has plenty of room for her daughters and her big Filipino parties that she wants to do. And and we can have guests like my friend who owns uh, American Tactical. You know, it's nice because they can they can fly and he can fly in a jet and he can friggin' uh, come stay in the back. You know, because it's like a freaking resort there. You know, in the back of the house, it's got a freaking 450 square feet. So he has his own his own house, his own kitchen, his own bathroom, his own shower. Pool, jacuzzi him and his wife can come down and stay for a couple weeks he's kicking ass man he has uh it's like over a hundred thousand guns back order i don't know how much it was something like that pretty crazy good guy though he's probably one of the nicest guys i've ever met very humble man too which is surprising when you're up in that uh that area so anyways um this new guy really good he's fast man my god he's done really really well he started out, took one lower was 15 minutes, and the second lower was 15 minutes, the third lower was 10 minutes, fourth lower was like eight minutes, fifth lower was like seven minutes, sixth lower was like five minutes, and now he's around four or five minutes. And I said, well, Scott, I go, Matt does him two minutes and 33 seconds, two minutes, 50 seconds, that's his average. And I go, you'll get there. So, he builds 200 a day, it's 500 bucks in his pocket. So, um... Yeah, I don't know anyone that makes that kind of money. That's good money. And um, we'll see what happens. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. Because I need to get at least 200 guns out a day. That is my goal. And that's a good, good amount. That's 1,000 a week. That's 4,000 a month. And today, I shipped that pallet of 500. And uh, Shane calls me. because he goes, hey, Ed, they're all sold. I said, well, you haven't even got them yet. And he goes, they're sold, all of them. I said, are you freaking kidding me? He goes, no, I need another pellet. I'm like, and he goes, just, just set a pellet a week. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? He goes, no, I can sell them all. And then Vlasic's like, pellet a week. Wow, wow, wow. And then I have uh, the other company. Last night, he goes, do you have my 500 done? I said, well, they're all prepped, ready to go. I think she built about 150 of them so far. And I put a woman on, on just his stuff, and he goes... Well, when will the 500 be ready to go? I go, by Friday, I'll have your 500 out. And he goes, can I put in a PO for 3000 I said, you want another 3000 Or you want more? He goes, yeah. So guns are crazy, you guys. It's crazy. My partner thinks it's going to be like this for a year. It's crazy. I love when people call me go, hey, yeah, um, I'll try to drum up business. Oh, don't, don't drum up any more business for me. I don't need it anymore. I can't even keep up with what I have. And in training, I had to train all day. But, you know, I cut him loose after the fifth receiver. He did a damn good job. And what's nice is respectful. He's young. He's 28. So he's determined. He's got a family. And he's determined. I like that because he's determined to work. And he's not one of those guys that drink and then makes an excuse and says, Hey, man, uh, I'm sick. You know what I mean? There's a lot of... Havasu is a flip-flop, white t-shirt, short type of city. And they smoke pot in this town. A lot of people do meth. And they're just, they're just shady. You know, they just, they make enough money and then they part it away. And it's just sad that people are like that. And, and then they get all upset. They're like, well, you know, it must be nice to be you. No, actually, I worked hard for it. And you could do it too, just by, you know, not partying, you know. And I can remember when everyone used to call me the fool. You're a fool, man. You should be out in the jet ski with me tomorrow. Come on, dude. Let's get a jet ski. Go get a boat. No, if I had your money. Okay, if you wouldn't have my money if you had my money because you blow it all. And I, uh, I save, save, save. I said, 10 years. I'm young. I'm in my 20s. I was going to freaking save for 10 years and retire. And that was my goal. And I made my goal, man. I did it. And on Christmas mornings, Thanksgiving, I was working. I did not take any time off. I save, save, save. And that's what I did. And it paid off. And I'm very happy. And uh, anyone can do it in this country. This country is set up to, do the, to freaking do it. It's awesome. I love it. Oh, shit. I got to call back. 
future sheriff. I gotta call him back. Hey, baby. No, you guys. Ed Max down for the day. Pretty excited. And remember that name. Ed Max. <laughs>